Do you think because of all this advancement and reliance on technology and research and things like that, do you think we are better marketers because of it? Do you think we've learned a lot in, say, the last 10 to 15 years? Uh, I think that we can be better marketers, and in some cases, uh, we're better marketers. Uh, it's There's still a, a lot of shooting from the hip out there. I just uh, saw an, a, a very worrisome statistic uh, just a few days ago that uh, said that uh, half of all CMOs uh, do not place a high value on testing uh, to improve customer experience, uh, which uh, uh, to me is just crazy. Uh, I attend a lot of conversion conferences uh, where you talk to people who are professional uh, conversion optimizers. Uh, and the one thing that everyone will admit is that uh, it's impossible to predict uh, how customers will behave just from your prior knowledge uh, or best practices. Uh, but uh, you, you simply have to test in each situation uh, to see how your customers respond uh, to uh, whatever you're trying to do. And all these guys at conferences love to delight the audience by uh, putting up a slide, okay, here's uh, uh, version A, here's version B, which do you think pulled better? Uh, and then inevitably, uh, the majority of the audience, who are mostly experts themselves, guess incorrectly. <laughs> and so the fact that CMOs uh, seem to think that uh, either they or their staff know enough to not bother that much with testing, uh, to me, that's, uh, that shows we've still got a long way to go. Well, it's very difficult, I would imagine, for the entrepreneur, for the CMO, the marketing directors to rely on things that, that are outside their own understanding, I think, because we're, we're fairly egocentric and we think, you know, I rose to this position because of what I know and my gut, right? We always want to trust our gut. But sometimes, I guess the neuromarketing thing is, is about going against your gut. Would you say that? Oh, absolutely. There are a, a lot of counterintuitive things. I think uh, topics like uh, uh, decoy products uh, are one where uh, introducing a product that you don't expect to sell uh, can actually increase sales of other products in the line. Uh, for instance, introducing uh, a very high-end product uh, to your line uh, may shift the purchases uh, upwards. In other words, people will uh, buy the uh, next most costly product that was previously your high-end product at a much greater rate, and there, there's actual market data to show that, because now by uh, introducing that really high-end product, uh, you have said, okay, well, the previous high-end product is now sort of a compromise, middle-of-the-road choice, uh, which is often what people are looking for. And so even if you don't sell any of that high-end product, it can boost sales of your other products. Mm -hmm.